The day started out slow. I woke up late as usual around 9.55 am. By the time I got dressed and ate breakfast it was already 1.30 pm. Now I'm thinking about what I'm going to do for my activity today. Seeing the weather report let me know that this was going to be a really nice day for outdoor events. Only thing, I didn't feel like moving, I was just so relaxed. This day I'm on my own, there's no other agenda I have to follow. Only thing I'm faced with is a family of cats who live behind the house. I'll feed them some water and cat food, then be on my way. Nothing new, I just did this routine yesterday. It was just after 3 pm when I made it happen, getting my trike out of the garage. Ah yes. Everything is all set, got both apps started and the camera is mounted, ready for action, I'm off at 3.15 pm. I've ridden this route so many times I know it like the back of my hand. I'm thinking I don't know why I bothered to bring the camera, I'm not going to capture anything different from the last 10 times I did this route. As I rode through Palmer Park past 3rd Street, I got an idea. I'm going to head downtown. Why not, I don't have anything else on my schedule, I've got the time. This is probably the last day this year above 70 degrees. I'm going to enjoy this ride. I rode down 3rd all the way to Euclid, then took Euclid to Woodward Avenue. I rode on the sidewalk all the way till I got to Erskine. From there I found my way to the Dequindre cut. Up until this time I hadn't used my 1000 watt Bafong electric motor. I turned it on and rode the Dequindre cut in what felt like 5 minutes. I passed a man on his road bike going the opposite direction. When I reached the end and turned around, he was a good distance ahead of me. That's nothing for an e-bike, even though he was pedaling at a fast pace I blew right by him on my way back. That was fun riding so fast. On the way back, I noticed some young guys who appeared to be teenagers riding on scooters. They mocked my slow jam music as they passed by but I had a surprise for them when I turned on my motor and took off leaving them in the dust. Due to a system malfunction the motor will only stay on for about a mile at one time but that mile will be at top speed level. I had fun flying down 2nd street for the next mile or so. I'm sure that much of my ride was at barely 9 miles per hour, but 6 miles was at 25 miles per hour. That's the fun part. People sitting at a bus stop seeing me riding by slowly one way and flying by them going the other way 5 minutes later. Such a wonderful experience for me at 67 years old. I never dreamed any of this would be possible before I was introduced to e-bikes. In fact I was getting close to 300 pounds back in early March. Since then I've lost more than 70 pounds. Like James Brown would say I feel good. I'll always remember this ride and can't wait to process the video.